Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly. And the What the Heck Just Happened segment tonight. Short time ago, President Obama continuing his softball media strategy. Talk with MTV. We've seen artists like Bob Marley, Bob Dylan, Public Enemies, Chuck D, Rage Against the Machine have all made popular music right. um, that inspired and informed. What artists do you feel today uphold that tradition and how? You know, it, it, it's an interesting question. We haven't seen um, as much uh, directly political music. Um, you know, I think the the most vibrant uh, musical art form right now uh, over the last 10, 15 years has been hip hop. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Do they have hip hop in Benghazi? You're not analyzing the president's press situation. Bernard McGurk and Greg Gutfeld. First of all, uh, I want you guys next week to get hats like that guy. I have one. All That's right? actually my hat. He and his name it. is Sway, that guy, right? That, he also yeah. took my name. I was originally Sway, then I changed it to Curve, and then to Captain Puddles, <laughs> and now I'm Greg Gutfeld. Uh, you know, there's nobody at, at MTV. They think Ben Ghazi is a club DJ. This is, uh, this is actually infuriating what's going uh, on right, right now. If it's it wasn't so absurd. Yeah. No, it's it, we have... There is a massive scandal going on. There are four people dead, and they're talking about music. It's disgusting to me. Well, I honestly if, want to throw up see, on I, Bernie. I'm not, I'm not, not if, on if, me. If, I want to throw he, up on you. If the president would do some interviews legitimately, yeah. I don't mind Sway yeah, talking right. to him. Who is Sway? I mean, is this guy a, I, He's a voice I'm, of a generation. I'm yeah. digging the funky lid. And I have a closet full of them, so yes, next week you'll see me here with uh, with that hat. I want that. Why you guys get the hat? No <laughs> but look, this is, is desperation time for them because they uh, they smell defeat in the air. But this is usually what, uh, what it's not what incumbents do. It's usually what the challenger or new candidates do. Go on the you know the, the chump with the hump or the putts with the nuts or whatever it is, the the, the slut with the butt. Not 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 incumbent presidents this late in a campaign. And of course, it's an exercise in futility because they already. Know know these people that, that were already lean Obama. They know he's not going to pay yeah, off I don't know loans. what he, he thinks he's going to gain. He the he's MTP, not going to legalize pot. The, the people who like MTV, and, and that was a live interview, by the way, who are locked in on that are going to vote for Barack <laughs> Obama anyway. Right. Um, so I don't know what he, he's wasting his time in there for. Um, he could just maybe call Sway on the phone. He didn't actually have to show up. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Gutfeld, you... This, no, you know what's going on right now? President Obama is depressed. And when you get depressed, you put on your giant bunny slippers. And this is basically the equivalent, the media equivalent of bunny slippers, making him feel better. Also plays to his key strength, which is charm. And charm exists purely as an evolutionary practice to mask incompetence. Bill, you are the opposite of charming which is a compliment. You don't need to be charming <laughs> because you're competent. However, when you're incompetent, you got to be charming. I can name some presidents who are both charming and competent. But anyway, um, this EMTV thing culminates a week of hard-hitting interviews uh, with guys like Jay Leno. Go. You're going to Vegas. Yeah. You're going to place a bet on the World Series? Who do you got? Well, uh, they're both great teams. Mm -hmm. San Francisco, uh, they came because they... They won uh, and, mm -hmm. and did the traditional White House visit. Mm -hmm. um, Detroit beat... <laughs> they beat my White Sox out of a pennant. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, they're an outstanding team. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, it's yeah. 10 days before the vote. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, we're here for you. On the factor, the whole hour. Not one you know? question on Libya. And they covered a wide array of topics. Well, look, you can't blame uh, Jay Leno. Right. Jay Leno's job is to entertain people. But he did cover some substance, and he left Libya out. Now, Who, Jay Leno? Jay Leno did, yes. Because he's not going to be confrontational to these guys. He wants them to come on a program. But, your but here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting. He didn't get big ratings with that. I was on Letterman up against uh, the president. I don't know how, you know, we'll know next week who won, who, who let. But... Last night, Gutfeld on, uh, what's this Williams show? 30 Rock? Rock Center. Or, yeah, Rock, Center. Center. Rock Center. Rock Center. 30 Rock is Brown Alex Baldwin. Alex yeah. Baldwin and Tina. Okay. I can't <laughs> tell the difference between the two programs. But anyway, <laughs> the factor, as I mentioned, beat this program. Mm -hmm. The cable factor. Fox News Channel, Channel 87 in Wichita, Kansas, beats the NBC 
and they're at 10 or we're at 8. They're a much bigger audience. And not only did we beat them, we thrashed them. Well, with good reason, too. But, you know, but listen, yeah, they should have yeah, played. You wouldn't think it, They should have ran Johnny Mathis music behind uh, <laughs> Williams and, and President Obama. It was disgraceful. It was disgusting. And shame on you, Brian Williams. What not, song from Johnny would you have put in there? It's not for me to say, Bill. It's not for <laughs> me to say. <laughs> but, look. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on him for, for not wanting to offend the crowd he rolls with, Brian Williams, by asking this. Oh, it was outrageous. It's obligatory Just question give me anything. With no follow-up. I mean, I challenge Brian Williams to look at a picture of these four dead American heroes. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, did you do the right thing? And then try to have a good night's sleep. Yeah, if you honor their legacy. I, don't, I just don't know what's going on. All right. Are we going to have more with Gutfeld and McGurk? Forgive us. <laughs> Talking about Donald Trump and uh, Lance Armstrong doping. They're both familiar with narcotics. Yes. We'll be uh, right back. Take me tonight. We continue with Gutfeld McGurk. As you may know, Donald Trump has offered $5 million if President Obama will release his college transcripts and his passport application. Why do we want to see President Obama's college records? Transparency. Does that make sense to anybody? No. I mean, seriously. Transparency. What does that mean, transparency? It means there's so many hidden things that we just don't know about our president. What are they? Let's, be, what are the well, list of I don't hidden know. things? What do we care if we see his college records or well, not? Well, you may learn things about Mr. Obama, President Obama, that frankly you didn't know. Well, like and what? I hope that you wouldn't. <laughs> well, they have a little line saying, place of birth. They have a little now, and I hope he, you where, know, I hope where, everything's okay, perfect. Okay. Now, where do no, you no. where do you think he was born? I have no idea. <laughs> I really have no idea. Great. So, McGurk, what do you yeah. think? Listen, I love Donald Trump's uh, a smash mouth, politically incorrect approach. And if the, if stuff like this makes Sarah Jessica Parker spit up her frappe and Chris Matthews choke on his dog whistle, I like it a lot. But as far as the efficacy of what he's doing, yes, Bill, a word of the day. The efficacy. E efficacy. Excellent. I mean, to, which is to help Romney and embarrass, by embarrassing Obama. I think that maybe in this case, it's not going to work because uh, uh, it's too much. It makes Obama look like a victim. But Romney I, already has know, the I, I told uh, Mr. Trump that for $2 million, I'll release my college transcripts and uh, passport application. I would do that for yeah, $2 million. Yeah, and it's a legitimate issue. Now, if Gutfeld had managed to go to college, he could do the same. I, I want to make, I, I coined the phrase <laughs> philanthropic extortion. That's when you, you offer money to a charity to get some, somebody to do something that will hurt their career. It's clever, but it's vulnerable because it can be done to anybody. If George Soros came to me and offered me five million for those pictures of spring break in 95 with me and you, which to this you day, and Soros, yes, you not me. I would release them. I wasn't anywhere It'll near you. Ruin That's our close. oh, please, Come on. Bill. I have the pictures. Good for, you <laughs> I don't have, have the pictures. pictures. <laughs> That was, time. Seen, it was a special time. It was a special time. I've never been seen with Gutfeld outside the studio. Oh, by that's the way. not true. All right, now, Barack Obama <laughs> had a great, great line when asked about this offer from Donald Trump. He said the reason is that Trump was mad at him because when they were children in Kenya, good, very good. <laughs> they yeah. didn't get along. That was funny. So it's actually they're using this against Trump. That, it makes Obama look like a victim. It makes exactly. him look right. like, oh, and It yeah, gives him an opportunity. Like and, like uh, but what you got to love the fear that Trump inspires in people. Like when he, when he goes on The View and you know they hate him, they treat him like Jesus Christ. They, everybody's afraid of you know, the way he bludgeons back. When, well, that, they remember the Rosie O'Donnell thing. Remember exactly. That? Oh, right. my God. Yes. And, and, and like was... Frank Rich got it. My friend Frank Rich got, got it yesterday or the day before because he dared to, you know, criticize Donald Trump on this. You got to love that. Okay. Now, uh, Lance Armstrong, uh, obviously, uh, you, you still... You're a biker. Oh, yes, I, uh, but I use a big wheel. No, I thought you had a tricycle. Isn't that yours outside? No, no, no it's a big wheel. <laughs> really, Bill. Uh, we knew Lance was juicing. He won the last Tour de France on a pogo stick. But I think it's a hypocrisy yes. in the media to condemn him for juicy, juicing when all of us would, would jump at the chance of using a chemical if it made our career better. In fact, I know I would fact, not do that. You are on ketamine right now, sir. <laughs> I checked your coffee of ketamine and dandelion juice in that coffee mug. <laughs> I know the world of steroids yes. until uh, I, I was an amateur bodybuilder until I pulled my groin on the clean and jerk. And how old were you? Eight? <laughs> Having nothing to do with the sport. 
Nothing to do with the sport. But listen, Lance Armstrong is an American hero. He went, in, he went into France after they screwed us after 9-11. Yeah. He gave, they gave us the middle finger, and he represented, and he So you, you still think he's an American he hero? He went into their house, played by their rules, yes, with the steroids, and beat them at their game. Right. I, 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 think I, I, I think this is awful. Number one, Armstrong was taking so many steroids, he could have hit 72 home runs if he was a baseball <laughs> player, okay? That's how juiced up the guy was. But he lied about it, and here's – now, Gutfeld probably admires this. He made $15 million last year in endorsements yes. because he cheated. No, I, don't, I, do not, uh, I do not support that. However, I think he should make lemonade out of lemons and start getting new endorsements for, like, juice, juice bars. <laughs> Why not a juice bar? Why so not? he can represent a uh... hypodermic needles. They need a spokesperson. Right, God knows. Does. And if you get a bad rap these days, if you cheat, you have to lie. And by the way, he came back from terrible cancer, not just testicular. And we and look, but the brain, that you know, that can't be trifled with. No. I mean, the man is is brave in the sense that he fought the cancer and he actually did some good things charitably and all of that. We just can't have cheating and lying at that but level. But they were all you doing can. it. He, in, in order but to I don't compete, care. He, I don't care if but they were at, all doing at, it. At the time, though, if you go into France and you do the Tour de France, you have to do what Look, they're doing. There are a lot of people and, think you have to be on drugs just to go to France. <laughs> I have to be on drugs but to I come don't. here. I think it's a nice country. I like the little snails they give you. I like all that. Escargos, you don't have Bill. to be on drugs to go to France. All right, Gutfeld and uh, McGurk, everyone.